Hey guys, Mike here. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection is back with another episode. And um, a few months ago, I did a uh, special video about Thin Lizzy. Um, I had a Thin Lizzy uh, laser disc that I wanted to show off called Dedication and everything. And I'm a huge Thin Lizzy fan. Um, I wish they would have blew up in America, but they never did really reach that. A couple, couple of things prevented that. Um, and, and it's also sad that everybody just thinks of Thin Lizzy for the boys are back in town or, or even Jailbreak. But, uh, you know, they're, they're more than a one-hit wonder band. I mean, they are a classic, classic rock band. And uh, one of my favorite bands. So today I thought I would show you guys some other uh, DVDs and stuff I have of uh, Thin Lizzy. Uh, one of them's a Blu-ray. It's a, like a Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, it's like a double Blu-ray concert documentary. So let's start off with that one. And this is actually the newest one. I think this came out in, I want to say, 2021. Um... But yeah, this is called because it's a it's a twofer here. So you got the uh, boys are back in town, uh, the concert from 1978 in Sydney, Australia, um, which you know I think I have an older DVD of that one. Um, I didn't get that out. Um, you know the one I'm talking about. It's pretty old. It's not that great. You can see this on YouTube even, but this has been remastered. It looks really good. The sound's really good. It's also got a CD of that same show in here, which is cool. But the big, the big thing on here and why I got this was for the documentary uh, by Amir Reynolds. So I've Phil Linnett, Phil Linnett, Phil Linnett. I always, I don't want to mess his name up. Uh, uh, songs for why, songs for while I'm away. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good documentary, and I, I, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about two hours long. It's 113 minutes, and um, pretty much covers his whole life as much as possible. Um, it's kind of it's nice. It opens up. It's like a gatefold. I think one of the discs are loose here. But yeah, you get, you get in this, you get the, um, the Sydney, Australia... Uh, 78 show with uh, Gary Moore when Gary Moore was with them briefly uh, and then you get the great documentary you get a CD and the DVD of that concert but but you and then the blu-ray is it a blu-ray um, DVDs they're both DVDs uh, but the documentary is really good I don't think it's on Netflix yet I haven't I haven't seen it it may be but but check it out. Go out and buy this release and support Thin Lizzy. Um, people need to buy some of this stuff. I know people are buying records again and stuff like that, and that's cool. Uh, but but yeah, just great. I just love Thin Lizzy. Just great, great band. And uh, this is a really good release. And I could sit there and drool all, talk about it all day, but... But here's an interesting DVD. Uh, I'm not sure what year this is from. Uh, mid 2000s or so. Uh, this is Thin Lizzy live at the National Stadium in Dublin, and uh, it's a really cool show. And when when I discovered this, I came across this. It was like, wow, a full length, you know, pro, pro shot concert from back in the day, and it's really cool. This was during the um, God. What tour was this? Uh, gosh, I, I want to say uh, the, during the fighting tour or something like that. But it's also got some other stuff on here. It's got uh, Renegade, the Philip Lenault, Lenault story, which is a earlier. Uh, it's an it's an older documentary, which is pretty good too. But I think um, his mom had a lot to do with the newer one, I believe. It's, just, it's updated and stuff, but they're both really good. Uh, this also got the Sun Goes Down uh, Farewell Irish Tour documentary. And it's, it shows the song listings to the show, and then it's got the uh, actual show. And then that's kind of like the documentary behind it or something like that. It's been a while since I've seen this. Plus, it's got bonus stuff on I mean, this has got a lot of stuff on here. 
So, uh, yeah, really good release. Uh, live at National Stadium in Dublin. Uh, next up, this is probably one that most fans probably have in their collection. This is another uh, concert DVD slash CD of the concert. Um, and it's also got a lot of uh, extras on here. There's a, 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 really, a really good uh, sight and sound uh, concert, which is... Uh, Around 1983 with John Sky, Sykes in the band at that point. Uh, top top of the Pops performances and stuff like that. But this is Thin Lizzy Live and Dangerous. And, um, and I don't believe it's the actual Live and Dangerous album. I've always been kind of confused about that. And I've never really checked it out. But, you know, you got the Live and Dangerous album, which is phenomenal live album you know one of the most famous live albums of all time but um the the show they they recorded at wasn't that those shows that that record came out it was somewhere around in there so but then it's the uh the dvd uh god i'm getting confused here the cd is is a of that concert that's shown here but this is, isn't the actual thin lizzy live and dangerous one that we hear on record if that makes any sense uh next up this is kind of a throwaway release i mean it's basically everything that's on that dedication laser disc that i showed you uh but there i think there's some extra yeah well there's a lot of extra stuff on here but but like all those videos on that laser disc are here um uh, include did they put dedication on here that's weird. Hmm. Yeah, they didn't put they didn't put dedication on here. Unless I'm blind, but but anyways, this is a lot of performances, live performances, TV appearance performances, um, uh, I guess early music videos and stuff like that. I forgot what they were called back in the day. But yeah, it's just basically a collection of their videos and some some performances and stuff like that but it's really good i mean a, any any collector of thin lizzie um needs it and it's it's a official release from universal and all that good stuff uh next up this is a uh, thin lizzie are you ready are you ready and uh this is a live concert um but is this the there's a couple. There's a couple shows that they recorded before they retired. Uh, 1983's, you know, the Sight and Sound one was one of them. Um, I think this was recorded. Yeah, this was recorded for uh, German TV in 1981. This is during, the, I think, the Renegade tour. Uh, really good concert. Really good show. Uh, another really cool release and. Um, I haven't. I I don't really see this around much or anything. But yeah, it's on the uh, rock rock palast, German, uh, like their top of the pop show and everything. But yeah, it, it should be on YouTube. Um, it may be cut up. I don't know. It may not be on there. But anyways, uh, and finally, uh, this is another. Um, I mean, this isn't official. This isn't. This is one of those. Uh, I guess non-authorized bootleg type of thing but it's a documentary that i'm not sure who made it this was probably on tv or something at some point it's an hour long but it's called thin lizzy the rocker uh the a portrait of philip lenant so uh, yeah pretty good and it was one of those things that didn't cost a lot it was just like yeah i usually stay away from non-authorized stuff you know because usually it, they just show people talking you know, and they don't show any of the music because they can't use the music. They can't show the video. So it's, it's usually kind of lame. Um, but yeah, that's, it, that's pretty good though. But, but yeah, uh, mumbling and stumbling over my words, guys, but I love Thin Lizzy and, uh, that's, that's a collection of DVDs that I've, I've collected over the years by them. Uh, there's probably a couple more out there floating around that I've, you know, either haven't got yet or don't know about so um there you go guys so uh, let me know in the comments uh thoughts on thin lizzy uh the greatest irish rock band of all time i said it 
A lot of people say you too. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. So, anyways, let me know in the comments, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Like I said, if you if you love Thin Lizzy, give me a thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get um, in the and stuff and all all that great stuff. So, rock on, guys. Have a good day. And uh, always, Thin Lizzy. That was kind of lame. Mm -hmm.